Hello, Doug here. Today we're going to talk about star halo removal. I was working on an image and I was trying to find some kind of tutorial that would show you how to remove uh, the halos and I found a few but they were very complicated and they didn't work very well. But I was playing around and I found something that works pretty good so I wanted to share it with you. Now here's an image in Photoshop that I've got that uh, has a blue halo. See this star right here is a blue halo around it. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove that halo. It's a pretty easy uh, process and I'm going to show you how to do it. Well, what you need to do first is we need to get the selection tool which is you know right here. Click on the selection tool and find an area of the image that doesn't have a whole bunch of stars on it. Just kind of select a rough area. It doesn't have to be exact about the, the size of the, the, the halo you're trying to remove. And then what you want to do is with the selection, you want to modify it and feather this selection with 8 pixels. It's a good size. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to copy it and paste it and make a brand new layer. So Control C and then Control V. Now we have a new layer. Here, you're, you, you, if you take the background layer off, you can see that, that layer that we just created there. So now we have to take this and move it back over the top of that halo that we just uh, created. So I'm going to just start dragging this over here and bring it on top of it. And that pretty much covers it pretty good there. So the next step here is we're going to take the opacity and bring that down so we can see the, the stars underneath this new layer. Okay, now we've brought the, the opacity down. I'm going to take this layer and create a layer mask with it. And what you do is you go to Layer, Layer Mask, and we're going to say Reveal All. The next step we'll, we'll do is we'll grab the paintbrush and we'll make sure that it's set on black. Remember down here the, uh, the two settings, one's black and one's white. Uh, black reveals and white conceals. So. What we'll do is I'll, I'll go ahead and zoom in on this image and we're going to paint through this mass so we can get our stars to come through. I'm going to use the open and square bracket to make the brush size that, that I need. So I'm going to go about this size and then I'll just simply click it and the first big star has now got a hole in that, in that mass. Now to show you that I'll just take the opacity and bring that up so you can see it. And now you can see the the, the star that I just painted in that mass. But in order to find your stars underneath here, you have to bring it down so you can see them. And then you'll use that brush tool to uh, paint out your other smaller stars. So here's another one here I'm going to paint. So I'll select a few of them. Depending on how big you make that mass, you might have to spend more time uh, opening up the holes in this layer mass so you can see your original stars. And uh, just you know, put your uh, opacity on the on the brush up here to 100%, and the flow at 100% as you're painting the holes through the mask. Okay, that should be about good enough there. So now I'll take the uh, the opacity level on this and crank it back up to 100%. Now right now it's kind of a hard break and it doesn't look too good so what we're going to do is we're going to apply a blur to it so you go to filter blur Gaussian blur and there you can see the the work that I did by uh, painting the hole through the, the mask there uh, about 3.8 pixels is a good area to start and that gives it so it's not such a harsh break between it it gives it kind of a fuzzy look, so it gives it a, a more blended look. So I'll just say OK there. Now there's one last step you need to do here. Under the, the layer, it's, it's by default coming as normal, but now we're going to change it. We're going to call it uh, Pin Light. So you select Pin Light, and now you've uh, done a good job of removing that mask without making it uh, look too bad. There's what it looks like now, and before we were talking this. So there's a pretty good uh, difference there. And let's zoom out on the image and you can kind of see what it looks like here. There's the before, and there's 
Thursday after. Pretty easy tool to, to use and uh, it works pretty good. I wanted to remind you that uh, you could possibly win a coffee mug with uh, your winning image by visiting myastroimages.com. There's a monthly imaging contest. Uh, go ahead and enter one of your images in the forums there and get started on uh, your winning coffee mug. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later.